Hi, I'm Rita Goldner and my YouTube channel is bipartisan. I just want to make sure that you get out and vote. But I also think you might want to learn to draw the mascot of your choice. I have a video in how to draw an elephant and this video is going to be how to draw a donkey in case you're voting blue. So check out both videos and draw the mascot of your choice. But more importantly, just get out and vote. Thanks for watching. The only supplies you'll need for this project are a red pencil, a regular black pencil, or a black marker if you prefer. You do not need an eraser. I'm taking my reference photo and just making geometric shapes on top of the photo with a red pencil so they'll stand out. Both in this part of the drawing, drawing on top of the reference photo, and then later when you're drawing on your own blank sheet of paper, don't ever erase, just keep going. And if you make a mistake or draw a line you don't like, just draw another line beside it that you do like. But don't erase the one that you don't like because it's your guide to not make the same mistake twice. So that's why I say no erasing, just the red pencil and the black pencil. Now take your regular sheet of white paper and your red pencil and roughly copy those shapes that you saw that you just drew on your reference photo. Now you'll notice I'm not being real careful and I'm not putting a lot of detail in. I'm just copying the rough idea. I've made the back end of the horse too long so I just leave that line there and then I make another line that's a shorter body of the horse and making that one a little bit darker. I also made the horse too skinny so when I try to make it bigger I put a little X on the bad line where he's too skinny. Then I just draw over the whole thing looking at my reference photo and trying to make the shapes similar to my reference photo. But I'll go over them and change them as I'm going, comparing one against the other. Like you'll see his front foot extends almost out as far as his nose. So if you look at the nose and go straight down, you'll know where to put the bottom of the right leg. And then the left leg goes straight down and it's just a trifle bit shorter than the other one. Then you can see the two back legs. Everything is related to every other shape. So that'll help you in the size and the placement when you look at the other shapes. While I'm drawing this, I'm going to give you some fun facts about the donkey. Donkeys are thought of as being stubborn, but the reason they got this reputation is because they have a high sense of self-preservation. And when a horse gets startled, they will jump and usually run away. But donkeys won't do that. They just freeze where they are and look around at the situation. They're more independent in their thinking than horses. And they'll think about something and make decisions based on their own safety. So it's very hard to force a donkey into doing something that it sees as not being in its own best interest. It'll just freeze where it is. Not so much stubbornness, but just self-preservation. Wild donkeys are only found in the deserts and the savannas in northern Africa from Morocco to Somalia and also in the Arabian Peninsula and in the Middle East. But domesticated donkeys are found all over the world because they are a very good work animal. They have great hearing and in the wild they can hear the call of another donkey 60 miles away. Donkeys are stronger than horses of the same size. They can see all four of their own feet at the same time, and they have a pretty good digestive system. They use 95% of what they eat, so there's not much left for fertilizer, unlike a horse. 
Donkeys can live for over 50 years and they have excellent memories. They can remember another donkey that they were with 25 years ago. If you liked doing this drawing and you'd like a Republican mascot of an elephant to go with it, I have a video of that too. Look for it on the video page of this channel. So I hope you learned some fun facts about donkeys today and that you're going to get out and vote for the party of your choice and draw the mascot of your choice. If you like this kind of how-to drawing videos with a little bit of fun facts thrown in too, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check the little bell below so you'll be notified when I post another video. Thanks for watching.